Ooh, I love my passion flowers. And it's lovely to see my passion flowers have returned. In abundance. <laughs> and they turn to passion fruits. And my passion is the fruits of the spirit of God's love. And that's found at Galatians 5. Well, read between Galatians 5.16 and 5.26. which is actually the, the basis of uh, all of this Perusia work. I um, just change the order a little bit. So fruits of the Holy Spirit of, for positive love, joy, faith, goodness, mildness, kindness, patience. Sometimes that's put as long suffering, self-control, that's the key one, that's the one that's needed at the moment. For peace, for twofold peace, so that's peace within and peace without, <clears throat> which comes from a quiet conscience, from not having sinned or hurt another, or abused another. Too much abuse in this world at the moment. And Jerusalem means twofold peace, and that comes from a quiet conscience with God and self, with others. And so, when we fall short of love, that triggers the autonomic nervous system adrenaline response, the fright, fight, flight syndrome, which you probably know of. And that uh, puts us into the, the stress hormones. Adrenaline feels good at first, but it's not sustainable. It's the basis of all addictions. And when we can attain to the love as opposed to the fear, then we can gain self-control to say no. No to those things that we know are wrong. And empower ourselves, create those boundaries. for salvation the new heaven at uh, Revelation 21 is described in gemstones and those gemstones I I correlate with the uh, the sons of Israel to their conscious healing message which is to have the courage and the faith, which is the assured expectation of the things hoped for, the evident demonstration of reality is not yet beheld. So create what it is that you want to create. And may that be a good, healthy choice. And that way we can seek the happiness and the peace. We always have to wrestle between what's right and wrong. What's the right choice? What's the wrong choice? And it's, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, um, well, it's a dilemma, isn't it? It's a confusion. And so if we're confused, then we're not certain. in God's love, which God's love brings that certainty of what's right or wrong. And we're living in a world where you have songs drip thread through radio telling you what feels right is wrong, or what feels wrong is right. And there's that scripture in Isaiah which says about this time of we're being told what's 
wrong is right, and that's not true. That's not truth. And what's being taught to the children in schools, it's not right. <laughs> it's not right. So we need to get back to walk in the spirit, in the fruits of the spirit. And that joy, that joy of kindness. Because it's in the stress hormones that that's where all the grief, hurt and pain is. So all of this work is about how peace is not a cortisol and love is not a cortisol. It's time to end all abuse. Time for heaven on earth. Memory of a mountain holds mem memory in magma. Elements hot, molten in subterranean lakes of liquid fire. Pressure rising like blood, gaining momentum, waiting to erupt, waiting to rupture, cancers to create and breastfeed. The promised new world. Resurrect, restore, revive the love. And sometimes the light is here already. Hmm. And so this is that translation of the heavenly healing message and God promises to wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more neither shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore the former things have passed away and James 2.26 says the body without spirit is dead as faith without work is dead this is my faith works for the heavenly city, for the new heaven on earth, as promised for the promised land to come. Jesus enters through the east gate, which is through trust, truth, and the judgment for justice and peace, the judgment of what is right and what is wrong. There has to be trust. And it is only the truth that sets us free when we realize that truth in accord with what the spirit of love says, what it recommends. Luke 1940 Jesus says I tell you if they keep quiet the stones will cry out and at Genesis 2 17 it says do not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and bad for in that day you will positively die God's love is always positive. But where we fall short of love, then that's where negativity comes in, where the faith is lost, where doubt, guilt and shame enter. And so the breakdown of the, uh, the self, the self-esteem, the self-worth, the depressions. It is only God's love that gives us that sound mental health.
for the peace, the peace of the Holy Spirit, the peace of being at one, at one in our body, which is the temple for God's love to dwell. So we must keep the innocence of the children. We must protect the children. And teach them the way for sound mental health, happiness and well-being, for connection. For a relationship. For life with love. Not confusion, stress, fear, anxiety. God bless. Jesus Christ is returning. The Holy City, New Jerusalem, Zion, where they will learn war no more. May the light come to be. Hallelujah. Maranatha. Jesus Christ is returning. God bless.